Hello mga math aaral! Welcome to my Taglish Step-by-Step Math Video Tutorials. In this video, I am going to discuss simple and compound proposition. We are going to distinguish between simple and compound propositions. Determine if a proposition is simple or compound. Identify the sub-propositions of a compound proposition. If bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification for more updates of general mathematics video tutorials. What is simple propositions? Simple propositions are also known as primitive propositions. A proposition that contains only one idea. It cannot be broken down any further into other component propositions. So, simple propositions siya kapag no logical connector use. Wala kang mababasang mga logical connector tulad ng and, or, if and only if, at yung if, then. So, let's have example. A is the proposition. Kobe Bryant plays basketball. So, this is a simple proposition because it only contains one idea. Wala tayong mababasang logical connectors tulad ng end or if and only if at yung if then. Next, B is the proposition. Manny Pacquiao is a world-famous boxer. So again, this is a simple proposition kasi it only contains one idea. Wala rin tayong mababasang logical connectors tulad ng and or if and only if and if then. And the last, C is the proposition. Anna loves math. This is a simple proposition because it only contains one idea. Wala rin siyang logical connectors tulad ng and or if and only if if then. How about compound propositions? Compound propositions are sometimes called composite propositions. They are composed of at least two simple propositions joined together by logical connectives or logical operators. This means that yung compound propositions contains two or more ideas and meron ng logical connector na ginamit. And the examples of most commonly used connectors are and, or, if then, if and only if, and not, which are symbolizes as the following, respectively. So, sa compound proposition, masasabi siyang compound proposition kapag may mabasa na tayong salitang and, or, if, then, if, and only if, and not. And these are logical connectors. So, let's have examples. A is the proposition. If you study hard, then you will get good grades. So, this is a compound proposition because of the logical connector, if, then. And because of this logical connector, this statement composed of two sub-propositions. B is the proposition. Either logic is fun and interesting, or 
it is boring. So this is a compound proposition because of the logical connector or. C is the proposition. A basketball team must be good in defense or they will lose the game. So again, this is a compound proposition because of the logical connector OR. And because of this connector, the statement contains two sub-propositions. Let's solve activity 1. Before each number, write S if the statement is a simple proposition and see if it is a compound proposition. Number one, math is fun. So sa number one, walang logical connector na ginamit. The statement contains only one idea. So it is a simple proposition. Number two, math is fun and challenging. So, dito, sa so number 2, meron ng logical connector which is end. So, since my logical connector na end, it is a compound proposition. Because this statement contains two ideas which is math is fun, math is challenging. Number 3. 2 is the smallest prime number. So, sa number 3, walang logical connector na ginamit. The statement contains only one idea. So, it is simple proposition. Number 4. My favorite subject is mathematics. Again, in number 4, Walang logical connector na ginamit. The statement contains only one idea. So, it is simple proposition. Number five. I can sing and dance. So, number five, my logical connector na ginamit, which is and. The statement contains Two ideas, which is, I can sing, I can dance. So, it is a compound proposition. Number six. Mathematics is not the most difficult subject. So, here, wala, walang logical connector na ginamit. The statement contains only one idea, so it is simple proposition. Number seven. Either Plato is a philosopher or Einstein is a scientist. So, dito sa number seven, may logical connector na ginamit, which is yung salitang or. So, this statement contains two ideas, which is Plato is a philosopher at yung Einstein is a scientist. So, two ideas siya. So, it is a compound proposition. Number eight. Zero is a whole number. So, in number eight, walang logical connector na ginamit. And the statement contains only one idea. So, it is a simple proposition. Number nine. If one person reuses plastic containers, then he or she helps lessen waste. So, sa number nine, my logical connector na ginamit, which is the if-then. If... Then. if then, and the statement contains two ideas. So, it is a compound proposition.
Let's solve activity 2. Identify the logical connector and the sub-propositions used to form the following compound propositions. Again, when we say logical connector, these are the following. The word and, or, if and only if, at yung if, then. So, let's have number one. Roses are red and violets are blue. So, yung logical connector na ginamit to form two ideas is the word and. So, ang logical connector natin ay and. Then, we have the sub-propositions. When we say sub-propositions, these are the ideas connected. So, there are two ideas connected in this statement. First is, roses are red. At yung, violets are blue. Number two, either logic is fun and interesting or it is boring. So, the logical connector used in this statement is the word or. The logical connector is or. And there are three sub-propositions. There are three ideas in this statement. First is, logic is fun. Next is, logic is interesting. And the last is, logic is boring. Number three. If bata would stand on the three Coca-Cola cases, then he would reach the pool table. So the logical connector used in this statement is if then. So logical connector is the if then. And the sub-propositions in this statement are the following. First is, Bata would stand on the three Coca-Cola cases. At yung, he would reach the pool table. Number four. Reyes could play if and only if he will use aliases Cesar Morales for one to hide his true identity. So, the logical connector used in this statement is if and only if. Again, it is the if and only if. And the sub-propositions are Reyes could play and he will use aliases Cesar Morales for one to hide his true identity. Number five. A password must be at least six characters or it must be at least eight characters long. So, the connector used in this statement is the word OR. And the sub-propositions are, A password must be at least six characters. And, It must be at least eight characters long. And the last, we have number six. If you study hard, then you will get good grades. So, the logical connector used is the if, then. I repeat, if, then. 
So the sub propositions, the two ideas are you study hard, you will get good grades. Or you get good grades. Thank you for watching Mat Aaral. Until next time, God bless.